everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about five reasons why a car overheats. If you notice that your car is overheating, it's likely because of one of these five reasons. There are many different reasons why a car might overheat, but these are five of the most common reasons. Let's get right into the video. Now, actually, before I get into the reasoning, some cars will have a temperature gauge and other cars will just have an overheating light. So if you don't see a temperature gauge on your car, then it likely will have a light that will tell you when it's overheating. So let's get into the video. Number one is too little coolant. Now your car uses coolant and it circulates that coolant to keep the engine at a normal temperature level. If your car doesn't have enough coolant, then that means that it is likely going to overheat. It might not overheat as soon as you start it, but it will start overheating shortly upon driving, especially on hot days and especially when you're driving the car hard. Reason number two is a broken radiator. Now your radiator, uh, its main purpose is to help cool down the car and circulate that coolant. So with that being said, if your radiator is broken or leaking or anything like that, then your car is likely to not maintain a regular temperature and it's probably going to overheat. So take a look at your radiator, just, just visually inspect it. Now a radiator and coolant in general are relatively dangerous to work with if you don't know what you're doing. So if you're not a professional, if you're not comfortable working with cars and specifically with coolant, radiator and radiator hoses and stuff like that, don't touch it. But you can look at your radiator and see if anything's wrong. But like I said, I would suggest you leave that stuff to the professionals because it can be quite dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So my recommendation is that you leave it to the professionals, but you can use your eyes and don't touch anything. Just visually inspect it. See if you see any leaks. See if you see anything that looks off or broken, okay? But a broken radiator is, is a real big reason why a car might overheat. Number three is a bad thermostat. Now, if your thermostat is bad, it might look like your car is overheating because your temperature gauge is gonna go up, but in reality, it might not be overheating. So a bad thermostat might mean that your car might look like it's overheating, but it's not. Or your car might actually be overheating and the thermostat might just be bad. So, you know, if your thermostat is bad, I would definitely look into replacing the thermostat and then seeing if your car is actually overheating. Um, because it could just be sending you mixed signals where it's telling you it's overheating because the thermostat is broken, but in reality, um, you know, your thermostat just needs to be cleaned potentially. Um, and then your car hopefully wasn't actually overheating or will not be overheating once you fix your thermostat. So just to sort of clear that up, a bad thermostat might actually cause your car to overheat or it might just be sending you bad signals, basically, okay? Number four is low oil. Oil serves many purposes, but one of its main purposes is to lubricate the pistons uh, and the cylinder heads as they're moving. If you have low oil in your car, then there's not gonna be enough lubrication and therefore things are gonna get too hot. So having a low oil level can really overheat your engine, okay? Which goes hand in hand with number five, which is driving the car too aggressively. If you're driving the car aggressively, okay, your coolant and your oil cannot keep up with trying to keep the car cool because you're just driving it too hard, so you're gonna overheat the engine. So if, you're, if you've been driving the car hard, then you might overheat the engine. But if you've been driving the car hard along with these other factors, maybe you have a low oil level and you're driving the car hard, your engine's definitely going to overheat. So definitely take it easy, ease off the gas, rev lower, and just take it easy with the driving in general. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.